So you want to learn how to use a baitcaster. Well, you've come to the right place. Welcome to Loch Ness TV. My name's Eric, and today I'm going to show you exactly how to use a baitcaster. Before we get into the casting portion of this video, we have to go over how to use these dials that are on these reels to set them up so that we don't get massive backlashes. So let's go over what this dial right here does first. This is the Abu Garcia Pro Max. And to open, to show you what this dial does, we have to open up the reel, take it apart. And you see those five silver plates in there? Those are actually magnets. So when you turn that dial, it puts those magnets closer to this, the spool. Puts it closer to the spool. And that gives you your friction, if you will. The closer they are, the quicker it stops the spool from spinning. So secondly, this knob right here, this is your spool tension knob. So if we loosen this up, so that's not even clicking anymore. You hear that? Push this back down. That knocking went away. That puts more tension on the spool internally, which is another break on the spool. So this is a two braking system. Some have three, some are digitally controlled. To get this reel so that we don't get massive backlashes, we have to set it up so that way there's not too much free spool and so that there's not too much tension on the spool so that way the lure, as you guys can see in front of you there, can fall. So I'm going to turn this all the way up. I'm adjusting the magnetic brakes and I'm going to turn the spool tension knob all the way up. So I'm going to release the spool like I'm going to cast and it's going to stay. You guys can see that lure bouncing right there. It's staying put. So what we're going to do is just ever so slightly adjust the spool tension knob and there we go. It just fell. And the key with learning how to do this for your first time is use a heavy lure. You can use a two ounce sinker for all I care. Use something heavy because you have to have these brakes adjusted tight so that way there's not a lot of free spool, which is going to save you guys time with backlashes. So this is a three quarter ounce football head jig and I think I have that pretty good. If I was beginning, that's just about how much free school I'd want. For your very first cast, once we get, once you have your spool adjusted correctly, I don't want you guys taking this thing and just bombing it down the fairway. That is going to probably end bad. What I want you to do is first start slow. You got a heavy lure. Take the rod like this and just do a pitching motion. You're not going to cast very far, but it's going to get you used to starting the spool and stopping it just before it hits the water. As you can see, I'm just barely making it to the stick sticking out of the water. Once you feel comfortable doing that, what you can do is start to adjust your brakes a little looser. Keep just pitching or flipping. And just get used to starting and stopping the spool with the brakes adjusted. Now I'm going to adjust this for probably how I would use it to actually cast. So when you cast for the first time, don't cast like how you would cast a spinning reel and do that snap the wrist real hard. Start by lobbing this. Do a gentle lob. like that, other than getting it stuck in the tree. So I'm going to show you that for, for you one more time. A gentle lob, just like that. So once you've mastered the lob, then you can try to do a little bit more of a snappy action if you want to be able to cast a little bit further. Something like that, that was probably 50 or 60 yard cast. Guys, these reels are super easy. 
to learn how to use. You just have to have a little bit of patience and take your time doing it. If you follow the steps that I just showed you on how to use these, in no time you'll become a master and you'll be out here like me and you'll be able to use these super easy. Thank you guys so much for watching. If this video helped you out at all, leave a like. If you're new to the channel, click subscribe and until then I'll see you guys next time.